Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a short break from the Spaceships Battle tutorial because there is a Scratch challenge that is becoming very popular and I want to bring that challenge to our channel, okay? In the challenge, you have to hack your window and you will understand what that is about by taking a closer look to my window. Well, obviously, I'm not living by the beach, but in front of a hospital. But let's see how we can do that in Scratch. Come on. All right. The first thing you have to do is take a picture of your window. And then download it into your computer. And once you have it in your computer, you're going to choose a sprite, not a backdrop, a sprite, and you're going to upload a sprite. And now you look for your picture. Mine is here. And you click on open. Once your picture is imported, you're going to go to costumes and you're going to erase using this tool, the eraser. You're going to erase the transparent part of the window. For that, you will need to use the zoom. You can make your eraser smaller, okay, to be more precise. And you're going to start erasing the window. This will take a while, okay? The more precise you are, the better your result will be. Okay, once this is finished, we're going to adjust the size of the picture to the size of the stage. So basically, let's make it a little bit bigger. That's not big enough. You see there's some blank here. 130, okay, that's fine. Obviously, we're not going to use the cat. So now, let's to say backdrop. I'm gonna take the Arctic, which is the first one. You see? So now from my window, I can see the Arctic. And now there are many possibilities. I need that you use your creativity, but I'm going to propose some, some ideas. First of all, we're going to, to take a polar bear that is going to be walking from one side to the other. And after that, we're going to create some snow, which is going to be falling from the sky. Let's begin with the polar bear. Let's click on animals. And the polar bear is here. As you can see, the polar bear has several costumes. So it's very easy to create the effect of, of this animal walking. I'm going to make it a little, a little bit smaller so that it looks like it is feather. And the polar bear is going to walk from this edge to the other edge. Later, we will, we will put the window closer to us than the polar bear is. Okay? So, easy programming. When this sprite clicked, we're going to move. It could be 10 steps. And we're going to switch costume to next costume. And that's going to happen forever. If it's touching an edge, it's going to bounce. Let's see how it looks. Okay, first problem. As you see, this rotates completely. So clicking on direction, we can uh, set the rotation style to left, right. So that way, that's where we want it. Obviously, as you can see, that polar bear is too fast. So maybe five steps would be good. And after switching costume, it would be a good idea to wait for 0 0.2 second, for example.
Okay, that could be reasonable. So that's the first thing. And most of you will be wondering, uh, but Diego, how do we put the polar bear behind the window? Well, basically what we have to do is bring the window to, to the front. So we go to the window and when green flag clicked in looks, we're going to take this, go to front layer. That way the polar bear will be outside. In fact, it will, it will be like hidden when it's behind this part of the wall. All right. And we could put it here if you feel like. Okay. And now the second part, the snow. We're going to create a sprite, which is going to be a white ball. That could be too big. That's good. Can you see it? Okay. We're going to be creating clones of this snowball. Actually, they are snowflakes, not snowballs. Snowballs are the ones you throw at your friends when you're playing, and snowflakes are the ones that fall from the sky. But I will be saying snowballs during the whole video. So, when green flag clicked, the first thing we're going to do is hide the, the original snowball because this is going to be still, so it's better that it's hidden. And we are going to create clones of myself, it says. Okay, myself is the snowball sprite one. Let's give it a, a name. How many clones? We're, we're going to be creating clones forever. So let's take this loop and uh, forever but we're gonna wait for a while between one clone and the other one because if not we're gonna have too much snow so, uh, the important block when i start as a clone what is the the snowball going to do when it is created as a clone what are they going to do first of all they are going to go to the top part of the of the state of the screen so we're going to go to, you know the top part is marked by the Y axis and the horizontal movement uh, is controlled by the X axis. So our clone is going to be there. That is 180. Okay, that's the top part of the screen in Scratch and the bottom part is minus 180. But what X? Because obviously the X has to vary, because if not, all the snowballs would come from the same part. So the X is going to be a random number. So we're going to pick random from the left side, which is minus 240, to the right side, which is 240. So when they start as clones, some of them will show up here, others here, others here, others here, all right? And uh, they are going to uh, show, obviously. They have to show. And once they show and they are here, they're going to start falling. So we're going to use this, repeat until. To make them fall, we're going to change Y, because now they're in 180, but we're going to change Y by, I know it depends on the speed, we want them to, to come down. I'm going to choose uh, minus 5. So they're going to be falling down. And I'm going to repeat this until they are over here. What is this position? This could be like minus 170, for example. So let's take an operator, and when the position, not this one, when the position of this noble the Y position, which is here, is lower than minus 170. This loop is going to land, and we're going to hide this clone. Or we could even delete this clone if you want, which is here. 
before we have got it, we are going to set the size. So let's go to looks. And before showing it, we are going to set size to 100. If, you, if we choose 100, all the, snow, the snowballs will have the same size. But obviously, when it's snowing, there are different sizes in the snowballs we see. So, again, the size is going to be a random number, which is going to go from 50 to 800, for example. And now let's test what we've done. Okay, you see? If you want more snowballs, let's change this to 0 0.05, for example. And that way you see it's snowing harder. And finally, another thing we could create is make the snowballs move from side to side. For that, I'm going to use, again, these when I start as a clone. So this is going to affect uh, the snowballs at the same time they're moving. And we're going to make them move from side to side. For that, in motion, we're going to change X. All right. But we're going to change X little by little. So, look at the idea. That's going to be 1 and minus 1. And we're going to repeat this like 10 times, for example. And that's going to happen forever. So that way you see they are moving from side to side. If you want, we can... Put 20 so that they move a little bit further from side to side. If you want to create wind, you can remove one of them. And it seems like the, the snowballs are falling that direction. If you want to make the wind stronger, change it. All right. And if you, if you even want to control the power of the wind, you can create a variable called wind and change x by wind. Right click slider, change slider range from 1 to n. Could be normal, so zero wind. They fall straight perpendicularly, but if we put wind, they fall that way. Okay, so those are some ideas to, to hack your window, but as I've said before, use your creativity, try to be original, try to come up with interesting ideas, and please, once you finish your project, share it, copy the link, and paste it into the comments of the, of the YouTube video so that everybody can see your, your ideas and we can learn from each other okay and if you liked this video don't forget to subscribe activate your notifications and and smash the like button bye bye